Good morning from Puerto Vallarta today. We've got a nice view off of our balcony. I thought I'd show you guys real quick. Today we have an excursion to Las Coletas. So we'll go ahead and take you along. Enjoy. So we are back from our excursion today. We went to Las Calitas. Aiden's in the shower, but Adam and I have already gotten showered and changed. We thought we'd take this opportunity to kind of give you a review while it's still fresh in our minds. I think the way we should do it is just kind of start from the beginning and then tell you what we liked and what we didn't like. Do you want to start? Sure. Um, getting off the boat was fairly easy. Um, we were right up to the pier. And so we just had to present our sign sale card and make sure we had a picture ID with us. Um, and then we just scanned on and off. Yeah, government issued picture ID. Yes. Uh, it does not have to be your passport though. They, with your sign sale card, you just need a picture, government issued picture ID. Um, and then we just met with our, our group and our guide to get us over to um, to our boat so they had like little sections off like okay you know you're gonna be an A or B or C so they kind of can keep everybody you know in order based on what excursion you booked right. and then the boat that we got on was literally at the end of the ship and kind of just on the other side of it so it took us as a group maybe seven or eight minutes to walk over there maybe. at a very casual pace it was very close and accessible to get to yeah that was concrete all the way up and you don't have to walk in the dirt or in the grass or anything like that but uh, along the walkway um, the entire way. Uh, once on the boat we all got issued a life jacket. Um, the step up into the boat was a little hard but um, they were there were uh, people there who were you know the, able to help you get up mm -hmm. into the boat. Offered you a hand. They have like a ramp but it's it's like very steep it goes right. Did you get that sound effect? <laughs> um, and so then we all got onto the on board. Um, the bottom deck was somewhat shaded, or there was shade in it. They also had a bar there. Um, top deck was open. Um, we sat on the bottom deck because we didn't want to get too much sun because it was already hot. Um, most places on this trip have been hot, even though it's October. It's still very hot. <laughs> um, but we are going, you know, south of uh, what we're used to. So. Yeah. Um, as far as like seating on the boat, most of it was 
plastic chairs, those white plastic chairs that you find like at picnics and stuff like that. They did have some more sturdy seating um, on either side. It was kind of bench style. So that's where I chose to sit. Uh, Ad mentioned the open bar. They had two drink options, two alcoholic drink options. One was a rum punch, which was very good and our favorite. And they also had a margarita and then water. Yeah. So Aiden was sipping on water and we, well, I'll let Adam tell that story. Go ahead. Well, we're starting from the beginning. So um, the we'll ride over, that. yeah, the ride over was, uh, was fairly straightforward. Nothing, they stopped all along the way um, at what they called one of their nas national parks or state parks or something like that. Um, but it was a series of, of rock islands that have some caves in them. And so it, it was kind of cool to look at. There were some birds and stuff perched on there and whatnot. Uh, then we continued on. Um, getting there, uh, once we got to uh, Las Coletas, um, it was kind of a... Rude awakening. Yeah. Uh, so the the pier was wood, and they kind of just rolled down this little, you know, gangway. That, that, you know, that was that's fine. That's fine, yeah, that's fine. Um, then we, uh, we all got a map on the boats. We kind of understood, okay, this is where kind of things are. Um, what we didn't understand was that the rest of Las Coletas was really not very accessible. Um, it was dirt paths the entire way, um, and it was at the bottom of a very steep mountain hill. Um, and so, as you walked around, um, you know, the it looks on the map like everything would be a lot closer, or it doesn't say like what's up or down or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, it's very spread out, not accessible. I saw somebody in a wheelchair and they were struggling to get around. There was like two people, one person pushing from the back, one person pulling from the front. If you have limited mobility, this is not for you. It says easy, like on the reviews, but I don't see how anybody who has mobility issues could get around. I have three torn ligaments in my knee and I was struggling in some parts. Adam, who I have a bad Isn't, back and yeah, yeah, but I, I'm in much better, better shape. shape, much better shape, but you were struggling. I was struggling, but I was able to get to everywhere that we were trying to get to. Um, but I was definitely winded. Uh, I'm not the most, I'm not the picture of, 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 uh, health. of health. Yeah. I, I'm, but I do, uh, I don't have any mobility issues and I was struggling with it. Yeah. So it was spread out quite a bit, which we did not care for. Um, the food. So when we first get there, they drop us off at the pier and we have to take this gravelly dirt type of road all the way around along the shore, which was nice. And it's kind of jungly too. Yep. So that was nice to look at, but they kind of funnel everybody to, or encourage, I should say, to the restaurant to eat first. Yes. I think they kind of want people to get that done and out of the way. So we did that because we were hot and we just wanted to stop and sit have some drinks. and have something to drink. Yeah. And so after that, we decided to go snorkeling, but you had to go up the hill. Well, Adam had to go up <laughs> yeah. the hill to get the snorkel gear. And it was a good ways. I mean, it, if it, it was at least several flights of stairs, maybe two, three, four, several flights of stairs, and then a pathway. So it, it was a bit, a bit of a hike for someone who's um, not in good shape. Um, you just leave uh, either your sign sale card or your ID with them, and they'll give you the equipment, and they tell you to, uh, to try and rinse it off uh, before you bring it back. Yeah. So Adam goes up, gets the snorkel gear, comes comes back down, and we start to get in the water to do, you know, some snorkeling. That's all fine and well, but then, like five minutes into it, we get told, oh, no, 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 you need life jackets. So then he had to go, you know, to this other beach to get some life jackets. To the next beach over, and that was the only place that they had the life jackets. And they also had the, uh, the kayaks and, you know, Paddle boards. Paddle boards, things like that over there too. So, okay, fine. You know, they didn't mention that at the beginning, but that's fine. But yeah, they should, I feel like they should have either given Adam the life jackets when he got the snorkel gear, if they're going to require you to have life jackets, or B, or two, <laughs> told him, hey, you're going to need to go get the life jackets instead of having to pull him out of the water to go get the life jackets. Right. Um, the water was not very clear, so it was hard to see really anything. I did hear some stories of people seeing some fish. I saw some fish. You saw some fish? I yeah. didn't see any fish. <laughs> I tried to get some footage of said fish, but that was pretty difficult. I'll have right. to go back and see what I was actually able to get. Yeah. Uh, but there were people who were enjoying the beach, enjoying the water. Um, and there was some 
islands out there that are kind of like rafts. Yeah, they have some, um, I have footage of it, but they have some like floating raft slash like islands with hammocks and chairs to sit on, which brings me to something else I wanted to mention. I tried to get up on one of those bad boys and as I was climbing the ladder, it was so slippery from like algae that had grown on it because it's wood. My leg slipped and I scratched it and I started bleeding and of course it's salt water so that hurt even more. I decided it wasn't worth it. So I abandoned that idea and this is all while Adam was going to get the snorkeling gear. But Aiden climbed up on there. He said it was too hot to even like lounge up there. So he just jumped right back off. Now we're not from the heat either. I mean, we live in Northern California in Sacramento area. It's a different kind of heat. Um, it's not humid. It's not humid. Well, yeah, there, it's not humid. It's very, very humid here, here in Puerto Vallarta and um, uh, it, along the Mexican coast as we've been kind of cruising along. Now, obviously we're in the ocean, we understand that, but it's, it's a different kind of uh, heat than we're just used to, so. Yeah, but speaking of heat, that means the water is nice and warm. That's true. Very unlike the Pacific Ocean off of the coast of California, which is frigid. Very cool. So that was pleasant. It was, I feel like it was the perfect, perfect temperature. It wasn't too warm to make you hot, but it was cool enough to cool you down when you got in it, if that makes any sense. So after we went snorkeling, Adam and Aiden decided to go try and do some zip lining, but... Yeah, we went to the teen <laughs> adventure area. So there's like a kids area that has some other activities and there's a teen area. And this is all the way as far and up as you can go. Um, we did pass an adults only beach, the sign for it at least, we didn't go there. Um, there's like another section for adults only, but that's even farther than the fun beach where anybody can be at um, the first beach you you uh, come, come you, to yeah you come to um, so we hiked up it was that was far it took us probably a good 15 minutes 10 minutes we had to take several breaks me and Aiden um, before we could get up even into this area um, I would not have made it no no um, so once we finally got there um, you had to sign a waiver form basically saying that you know it's a liability waiver just like everything else uh, but the thing that kind of bothered me was that you weren't allowed to have your phone, your camera, no GoPro, nothing like that. The comp they said the company wouldn't allow you to, to film anything. I found that strange because um, I wanted to take some pictures of us doing the activities, but we, we couldn't. <laughs> and I've seen footage of other people who have gone there who have been able to like use a GoPro or something like that and actually get footage of themselves while they're going on the zip line or while they're going down the slide that goes into the water. Um, some of the things they said were damaged in a hurricane, so they weren't even available to do. Like the two things that I was mentioning to them they would probably want to do. All they had available was a uh, step up, which is a ropes kind of thing where they belay you into like a uh, uh, like rock climbing kind of gear. Um, and then they have some wood poles, like telephone pole looking things that are kind of stuck in the ground. And a little platform on top of it and you just kind of step up one round. It's kind of like a half circle. Um, they get a whole lot more wobbly once you get to the taller ones <laughs> and that's, that's part of the thing. Then you jump off and they catch you and they have like the climbing gear to kind of catch and everything. Um, the next one was a water slide um, that was enclosed and it was, um, uh, it was all salt water, you know, so it was, it was, it was fun, but um, you know, I, those two things, I don't know if they were worth the hike all the way up. Yeah. So that kind of brings me to my next point too. By the time they were done with that and they came back down to the beach where I was relaxing with my wounded leg, <laughs> I'm really butthurt about it if you hadn't noticed. Um, Cause that, it, stung, it stung bad. Um, they came back and we all just kind of sat there and <laughs> chilled on the beach uh, because it was just, it was hot. They were tired. I didn't feel like doing anything else. But we, we sat there, I drank a margarita, not a margarita. I had a pina colada, you had a margarita. I had a margarita. Um, and then we waited to be picked back up. Yep, so we finally got to, we went over to the meeting area, which was another little walk down, another little seating area. Um, but it felt like the workers were leaving, they were on smaller boats than leaving, while well, we just happened to be sitting there still. Yeah, it was kind of awkward, especially since we were told to meet at this place by 445 to be picked back up and it was well past 445 and the employees were leaving and we're all just sitting there like, yeah, It was Hello. close to five. That, at that least, time. at least. Yeah. Um, craziness. Uh, so, I think, for me, 
the best part was just sitting on the beach watching the waves and all the little crabs in the sand that was That's pretty right. fun we got to see the crabs on the sand yeah um my favorite part i think was the return trip on the boat <laughs> so not even the excursion itself necessarily i mean it's it's a nice beach there's nice you know it's nature a nice beach. to look at nice nature to look at it's kind mm -hmm. of jungly like you were saying mm -hmm. um but i just don't know i would never pay to go back oh. um, that reminds me something else i really wanted to do was see the parrots and the monkeys but the monkeys were unavailable to actually like see and hold or pet or anything because of covid um we did get to see some parrots and a falcon yes falcon hawk yes some sort of bird of prey bird of prey so that was nice i was glad i was able to do that um but yeah the ride there and the ride back are very much about getting you drunk <laughs> yep. and having a good time so they they went even as far as to dress up at, in like kiss costumes like you know the right. band kiss and put on a little show for us on the way back and they kept coming around you need another drink are you done with that drink can i get you another drink so adam had several drinks i had about five <laughs> and they were you know standard cup size and they were strong <laughs> so he's st he's still feeling the effects of it yeah um so I'm not sure how much we're gonna do the rest of the day, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a review. Um, what was the biggest con for you, do you think? Just the fact that there was nothing said previously or mentioned about how either spread out it was or how inaccessible it was. Because, um, well, I mean, I can walk it, a lot of people would probably not, and I know that Aiden and I were struggling just to get to some areas, so. Um, that was the biggest turnoff for me. I think that would probably be mine as well, so I'll, I'll think of something else. The little like review or advertisement or listing for the excursion, I'll say listing for the excursion, says that it has gourmet food, which is included, mm -hmm. but I did not find that food to be gourmet. It was very basic, like buffet. Um, I have some footage of it, but it was like seafood rice and some homemade tortillas, which were just basic homemade yeah. tortillas. Um, there was some mac and cheese, some chicken thighs that were pretty dry, at least mine was dry, was your dry? I didn't have the chicken. Okay, there was like four different types of salad, some guacamole. And some bread and fries and things like that. So yeah. And that's it was it. kind of a mix of Mexican and American kind of cuisine is what I would think of. Yeah, there was like corn on the cob and yeah. That's that's about it. So I was not impressed by the food. I don't. But it think, was included. Yes, but it was included, and there were alcoholic drinks included, which Open for bar. me <laughs> is a pro. Yes. I enjoy the cocktails very much. While there were only a few options to be had, they were tasty. Yes. So, if you're going on this excursion because you see that there's an open bar then this will probably be a good excursion for Sit you. Sit on the beach and drink it up. <laughs> yes. That is kind of what it seemed like to me. A lot of people were doing that. Would, yes. you, would you say there weren't very many other people doing much of anything else? I saw maybe three or four other people along the trek up to um, up to the teen area, and I don't know of anybody that went to the kids area. I don't remember seeing very many kids at all. Hmm. All right, well, I think that's it. Do you have anything else you want to add? No, I'll wrap it up. I'm just noticing out the window that we're starting to move, it looks like, so we're probably going to start heading down to, or back up, I should say, to Mazatlan. Um, we are going to hang out for a little bit, I think, and then head to dinner. Yep, get some dinner. See you then. We are in the main dining room again tonight. I've got a baguette and some whipped butter, but then this is what they call bacon pan drippings. So I thought I'd give that a try. It looks interesting. For his appetizer, Adam got the mango cream. Adam also got a bowl of broccoli and cheddar soup. And I think it has Gruyere in it as well. His appetizer are meatballs. My appetizer is, are mozzarella sticks and of course a shrimp cocktail. For my entree I got linguine with Italian sausage and Aiden got the same thing and then Adam got the Indian special. It's vegetarian. It's good. 
We all got the same dessert. It's called Bitter and Blanc. It's like a bread pudding with a cinnamon kind of type sauce. Okay, we are back from dinner. I am very full. Adam was not feeling great, so he didn't eat all of his food, but we always feel kind of guilty not eating everything that's given to us. I think it's just something from when we grew up. But um, So I ended up eating Adam's, the rest of Adam's dinner and my own. And of course we had to have dessert, right? So we ate dessert, but like I mentioned, Adam's not feeling so great, so he's gonna go lay down. Aiden is gonna go to the teens area, the Circle C Club, or whatever it's called, and I'm gonna call it a night. All right.